Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Delight and in today's tutorial I'm going to be solving trial balance problems with you. Before I do, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already a subscriber and click on that notification bell to get notified each time I upload a new video. There are several mistakes in Nadia's trial balance. You are required to identify the errors and draw up a corrected trial balance. Here is Nadia's trial balance. The first thing you need to do is identify the mistakes in this trial balance. And the first mistake is that the balances are not equal. You need to remember that the credit and debit balances in a trial balance should always be equal. If you missed my tutorial on the trial balance, you can go check out the video with the link in the description below. Now you need to go through each item that is listed to confirm if the balances have been placed in the correct columns. So we will start off with sales. Referring to the acronym PEARLS, the balance of sales is in the correct column. The tutorial on the acronym is also in the description below. Purchases have a debit balance, so this entry is correct. Rent is an expense and all expenses are debited, therefore this entry is incorrect. Wages are also an expense and the balance has been debited, making this entry correct. Fixtures and fittings are fixed assets and all assets are debited, therefore this entry is incorrect. Debtors are current assets, so this entry is correct. Creditors are short-term liabilities and all liabilities have a credit balance. Therefore, this is an incorrect entry. Cash is a current asset, making the entry incorrect. Drawings are goods that are taken by the owner for personal use. They decrease the assets in the business, therefore they have a debit balance. Capital is a liability and it should have a credit balance and not a debit balance. After identifying all the errors, we are now going to draw a corrected trial balance. After making the adjustments, the debit and credit balances are now equal. Here's a more challenging question. From the following list of ledger balances below, Prepare the trial balance of A and B bookshop as at 31 December 2019. Now let's look into the solution. The first step is to draw the trial balance with a name and the date on which it was made and also put the debit and credit headings for the two columns. I'm going to do my draft work here. And using pearls, I am going to determine the nature of the balances of the listed items. Drawings, as I mentioned earlier on, have a debit balance. Purchases, inventory, and debtors also have debit balances. Capital has a credit balance. Fixtures and fittings and discount allowed have debit balances. Sales have a credit balance. Salaries have a debit balance. Creditors have a credit balance. Motor vehicle rent and returns inwards have debit balances. The next step is to put the balances in the trial balance. These balances are not placed at random. They have to be grouped into assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenues and expenses in that order. The assets are inventory, debtors, fixtures and fittings, and motor vehicle. And they all have debit balances. There's only one liability, which is creditors, and the balance is credited. For owner's equity, there's capital and drawings. The balance for capital is credited and that for drawings is debited. And lastly, we have revenues and expenses and these are purchases, sales, returns inwards, rent, discount allowed and salaries. 
They all have debit balances except for sales. The final step is to add the amounts in the debit and credit columns. The total we get for both columns is 9,790. There we have it. The question has been solved. That's it for today's tutorial. Please like and share the video if you found it helpful and also leave a comment in the comment section below.